fired up. All right, YouTubers, we are on to the third set here between STX and SKT T1. This is going to be between Midas and Cal. By the way, I tried to do a little promo for my videos earlier, but got caught up in CVZ craziness. Um, <laughs> uh, oh yeah, I just released my video called Just the Game. I'll look back at pro st a year of pro StarCraft. So go check that out, and go check out Stem It Up if you haven't already. By the way, big thanks to S uh, sc2gg.com for putting me on their uh, front page commentator list. That is absolutely cool. I've been meaning to do all these promos and thank yous, but I get caught up in these games so much, especially with CBZ. So big thanks to sc2gg.com. For some reason, I have trouble saying that. SC2GG.com. SC2GG.com. Anyway, getting ready to start here. This is between Cal and Midas. Five, four, three, two, one. This is going to be played on Neo Requiem, which is a very interesting map. It's got a kind of a cross of minerals in the middle, which is really weird. Okay, up here at the 12 o'clock position in green, we're going to have Cal. AKA his new alias is Gujilla. I think I like Cal better. Down here at the 6 o'clock position in Teal, we're going to have Midas. And Midas has uh, been playing pretty good. He got pretty high up in the OSL, lost to Best. So if you're going to lose to anyone, might as well lose to Best, right? And Cal played very, very well. He got up high in the MSL, lost only to Jangbi before making it to the finals. So he's been playing at the top of his game in the past few games. Been getting a lot of wins for his team, I think, too. There's some Midas fans. I'm surprised there are still Midas fans in the world. Uh, Midas is an older, greater player. He was better back in the day, uh, a year or two ago. But now he's uh, he's losing his touch a little bit. Just not able to adapt to all the new strategies and the new level of players. People with crazy APNs, like 480 or something crazy like that. I think Jadong's is something like that. 450, 480. There's a gateway going down, so we're seeing some standard play from both players so far. There's a supply depot going up and a barracks. And the refinery, so very standard play so far. Nothing much to talk about here. And by the way, on my front page, there's a couple interesting things on my front page. I think I told you about the favorite thing earlier. God, I'm forgetting matches I just commentated on. But anyway, check out my favorites if you haven't. They're all worth watching. And my comment section, I will keep you up to date on what games I'm going to be commentating on and what's going on with me in my front page comments. The comment I will leave will usually be at the top. It'll be kind of like a news comment. I think my comment on there right now is, I think SKTX versus SKT... Whoa, I'm getting, I'm going to get that mixed up. STX versus SKT T1, a lot of letters there, will be <laughs> my next uh, commentary. So that was my news ticker, so to speak. I'll be updating that in case you want to know what I'm doing next. I can tell you what I'm doing right next right now. I'm going to be doing CJ Entis versus Samsung Con because we all know why that's going to be awesome. Firebat Hero versus Savior. That'll be the craziest match ever. I cannot wait. I cannot wait to cast that match. But anyway, back to this one. Midas has a few Marines out. And now Cal is going to try to put on the pressure here. Try to put on the pressure before uh, Midas goes for his um, factory here. It looks like Midas might actually be going for some early vultures. He's not mining gas at this point, so he just got enough gas to put up his factory. So I think we're going to see some early vultures here from him. Midas is going up right now. 
There's the Dragoon out, so I'm not sure how successful uh, Vulture Harassment will be here. Here comes the Vultures. He's pumping at least two that we know of right now. But since he uh, doesn't have the machine shop there, you know he's not upgrading mines or speed, so uh, it's, it's going to be up to him to get the micro done here and get a lot of pro kills. He's putting up uh, another vulture. So, okay, there's uh, Dragoon stopping that SCV from getting the scout. So he's going to be a little bit in the dark as far as that goes. He's trying to uh, reinforce his uh, vultures right now. He pumped another vulture. Surprised he's doing this kind of a vulture push, especially since um, Cal went for early tech here. Dragoons against vultures. I mean, dragoons just destroy vultures. <laughs> you're, going to, you're going to see a vulture go down very shortly here. See Cal playing very well, taking out a couple marines there. There was a vulture sneak by there, though. Um, Midas is going to try to get some probe kills here. I'm not sure how successful this is going to be with those dragoons pounding at him. He gets a couple of probe kills. And now uh, Marty's actually putting down a bunker right outside of Cal's base. That bunker is probably going to go down as soon as Jakun Range gets done upgrading. Okay, Cal is getting a pretty large Jakun army up here. There's the Citadel of Adun going up, so I'm guessing he's going to work towards Dark Templar soon enough. He knows that Midas committed a lot of minerals to getting that uh, Vulture army out, so he knows he's not going to be able to tech fast enough to deal with Dark Templar, most likely. There's Midas is still reinforcing his bunker there. It's a very interesting strategy from him. He's going for an awful lot of Marines here. These Marines are going to spot these Dragoons moving down the map. Um, Cal has picked a very interesting way to break out of this contain. He has just uh, ferried his troops over. <laughs> now uh, there's a Marine that went down there I saw, so Midas is going to be ready for this. He doesn't have any upgrades for any of his units, though. He doesn't have siege to deal with uh, this many dragoons, and these marines just being destroyed. Uh, Cal is really taking control of this game right now. I think Midas' little plan has failed, although as soon as he gets siege mode up, he'll be able to hold off a little bit here. But he's lost so much. He's going to lose uh, another vulture here. And he's took out a tank, gosh. And uh, he's taken out SCVs. Took out another vulture. He's been getting a lot of damage done here to Midas' uh, army. And Cal definitely working up to Dark Templar now. He has his Templar archives up. He might have some Dark Templar in the field by now, I'm not sure. Um, I think Cal needs to be a little bit careful around this minefield. Cal is taking his expansion because he saw Midas taking his. There's a turret going up, so Midas, I think, is suspecting a Dark Templar. Here comes Cal. He's going to. Um, he might be waiting for another Dark Templar before he goes out. I think he is. He's going to drop a couple Dark Templar in the field. There is Cal working at that bunker. He's going to try to break out of this contain so he can have a little bit more map maneuverability here. Because that's pretty much what um, it's pretty much what Midas has on his side right now is the map maneuverability. Here comes Cal. We'll see if he's able to get any kind of harassment done here. It's going to be very hard with that turret there. That turret's going to see the Dark Templar. I think Cal's going to back off here. He's going to try to figure out another place to drop those Dark Templar where there won't be detection. Although uh, Midas has a very good defensive grid here as far as detection goes. He's got turrets all over the place. <laughs> trying to take out that shuttle with a single Marine. Cal's still hanging around with his Marine though. It looks like he's going to try to figure out a place to drop those Dark Templar. I'm not sure how successful it will be because there are turrets all over the place. Even if he gets the, manages to drop the Dark Templar, 
it's going to be very hard, tough for him to uh, get any kind of damage done. You see, he is dropping them right there. There is no detection right there. So